On everyone, it's your guy Cole Jackson back here in the Russell Street Report film room on Two Guys Watching Football. And you're probably asking yourselves, where is Cole? Well, I'm trying a new format. I'm going to basically get rid of the intro with the video with me and just get straight into the film. You guys are the ones I want to hear from. If you like this format, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you're excited for Tyler Linderbaum film, if you're excited to see the Ravens start running more zone concepts, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you guys are new here, and let's dive right into it. So the theme of last night that really popped me in the run game was seeing the Ravens scale up their use of zone run plays. So in the first six weeks, we saw anywhere between two and six zone runs per game. Um, so very, very gap heavy. Um, kind of what Greg Roman's been used to. And we've seen two back-to-back -back weeks of 10 zone runs each. So obviously almost double what they've been used to. Um, and a lot of that is because I they're finding ways to utilize the athleticism of a guy like Tyler Linderbaum, a guy like Ronnie Stanley who's back, getting them out in space. You're seeing them use the counter, which we're also going to look at here today um, to show how Greg Roman's trying to use those athletes in the run game to get things going. Obviously, Tyler Linderbaum's going to be my focus here today because, I mean, he just looks like the guy that they drafted. Um, when they when you want to get him out in space, um, th this is exactly why. So, number 64, let's dive into it. So, I'll run the play. We'll go back, break it down. So, you're going to get... I started with a veer here because I know you guys want to see this play. This is where Linderbaum absolutely demolishes Devin White. Um, let me just draw this play up for you quickly. So it is Veer Reed. Um, you're going to see, I just want to highlight quickly here. So handoff is obviously to, Mar to Lamar's left here. Joe Tyron there is the Reed man. You're going to see him come pretty far inside. That tells Lamar to keep it. If he stays out here to spy Lamar, he's dropping that inside. Obviously, what we have likely coming across the formation, Lamar keeps it. Tyron just makes a really athletic step here. Lamar, being the athlete he is, is able to escape him. Up on the offensive line, you basically have what looks like duo concepts here. So you have two defensive tackles here, Vita Vey and forget who 56 is. But you're going to get duos from Zeitler and Linderbaum. And do, uh, sorry, a double team from... <laughs> Zeitler and Linderbaum and a double team from Stanley and Powers. That's why it's duos. You got two double teams. So you'll see right off the snap here. Boom, there's your two double teams on the two defensive tackles. And then you're going to get Linderbaum leaking out into Devin White. And you're going to get Ben Powers leaking out to David after Stanley to overtakes this block. Really nice work by Stanley there to overtake. Look at that. Look at him come across and take that. And so by taking out the two linebackers here and here, that opens this inside lane, which they're blocking that for Gus Edwards on the keep, but Lamar ends up um, making an athletic play to run through that gap. And then just watch Linderbaum right here. I'll run it through. Just watch what he does. He's just going to take White, and he's just going to send him home. So I know I don't think we can see this on the broadcast. He, uh, Lamar makes 32 miss. And Linderbaum pushes him over. Not as exciting, but Linderbaum still took him back to the bus. Um, let's see, how, how far did he drive block him? So he picks him up right here. One, two, three, four, that's about... He, he drive blocks him almost 15 yards. Um, you just don't see that very often. Very impressive. Now we're going to get into the zone concepts you guys are here for. So we're going to see outside zone right here. Um, quick refresher, you guys hear me talk about gap on here all the time. Best way to explain zone blocking to those that are newer to offensive line play in the run game, train track blocking. So you're going to see everybody on their train tracks, watch the lines. They're all taking a scoop step right. So when I say scoop step or a 45 degree step, it's going to look like this. It's going to be straight, pretty much parallel with the, um, with the, or with the uh, field markers. If you see more of a 45 degree step, that tells you it's inside zone. So just to show you guys what I mean, we're gonna see the snap here. See how everybody's taking that deep perpendicular snap or step. So that's that's how you know it's outside zone. I'll run it through and then we'll come back, break it down. See Linderbaum overtaking there. Stanley couldn't quite get there, but you have 
essentially Vita V here as a 2i and so difference between a one tech well no I'd say this is a 2i one tech he'd be a little bit more in the center a 2i he has his knee lined up with uh, the guard's crotch that's usually the best way to tell between 2i and one tech really doesn't make too big of a difference they're they're pretty much the same thing but Linderbaum's going to take this scoop step and reach this outside shoulder. No easy task, especially against Vita Bay. Even though he's a nose tackle, he's still athletic and is able to get off blocks. And so the first thing that steps up, he's just, look how quick this step is. He's already out there moving. He's already got his head across before some guys are even making their first step. And so by doing so, he's able to create, and I wasn't entirely sure, I'm assuming because you got Zeitler looking inside here, and Gus is probably reading off David, who's... But I was surprised Gus cut this back and didn't keep going outside just because the blocks are set up. And Stanley just isn't able to maintain against the backside defensive tackle here. If he's able to maintain this, then it's one heck of a cut because look at that space. But Stanley kind of doesn't hold on to his block. Still a good gain, good play. And I mean, the athleticism by Tyler Linderbaum to reach here and then maintain and... Basically, if Gus keeps going this way, he's sealed, but he's also completely pulled him up. He's got Vita Vey standing upright, so when he does hit the cutback, there's not much Vey can do to make a play on Gus. So that's how you take him out of both the play side play and the cutback play. So just incredible work by Tyler Linderbaum there. Um, we're going to get outside zone right again, so same idea. Everybody's going to take that scoop step right there like you see there. Linderbaum's going to wash. Gus with a heck of a read. Um, this was probably one of my favorite plays because look how stacked this box is. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the box. And the Ravens are up here in. And so when I say they cut half the defense, what I mean when I say that is because they're train track blocking, 32 and 30 are pretty irrelevant to this play right now. And so they're pushing their numbers, their blockers, who are going to combo block up, they're pushing them to the play side. So it kind of leaves these back to empty, and then you go from nine guys to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, safety stepped up here. Or DB came from outside. But you guys see what I mean. So this is how zone blocking against heavy boxes can be beneficial. You kind of cut the line in half, deal with the play side guys. Um, and so Linderbaum reaches 56 no problem here and then just is able to seal him he's got his body completely across 56 slanted inside so that helped him but he's going to use that you see right here you guys know i love the armpit top he's got that right up in his armpit he's going to seal you got zeitler making a play zeitler had a hell of a day run blocking you got morgan moses moving a body and then gus is cut why did he cut back well he has 22 fills the c gap so See right here, he's the safety that comes downhill. I think that's Keanu Neal. Maybe, he, was he playing linebacker? Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, he's going to fill that C gap right here. So, numbers game, one, two, three. Gus is seeing that right here, and he's going to cut right off Kevin Zeitler. Kevin Zeitler, being the intelligent man that he is, gets that right up into White's armpit, seals him out, and creates that space. So, tough block from, I'm not going to talk too much about, I know some, I saw someone tweet about how James Prochet should have sealed here. I mean, this is so far backside, like, that's just a tough run block um, for a wide receiver. So I wasn't upset there, but again, athleticism, Tyler Linderbaum, seals here, seals from Zeitler. Those two had a heck of a day on the right side of the line. Great vision by Gus. Look at him get low, cut through there, making a play. Just a heck of a play, looking good in zone. So we're going to get, I think, another outside zone. Yep, another outside zone right. And here, this is where we can look a little bit at, this is just Vita Vey making a play. So Tyler Linderbaum does a great job of getting there. And Kevin Zeitler bangs down a little bit to give that help. And that is because pre-snap, again, he's a 2i. He's got that knee in the middle of his crotch. So Zeitler's going to pass off there with that hand, and then he's going to start to aim at White. White ends up going far downhill, probably because he's the uh, playing the... I guess he'd be the... Well, probably the, mat, the mic on this, having David and the Will. Um, so he's going to force that cutback, which they get, 
And then if Linderbaum's able to seal here, that's another heck of a play where, again, you have the numbers, right? You got a blocker, blocker, blocker. Linderbaum just can't quite get across against Vita Vey, and that's where something where he's just going to have to improve. Um, athleticism's there. He's just got to maintain that. He knows that. Um, it wasn't all perfect, but again, you're seeing that athleticism that allows them to run these types of concepts. I believe we get outside zone right again here. This might have been inside zone. I want to go back and take a look. But this is that really nice run by Gus late. Um, let's see. Hmm. It's tough to say. No, it's probably outside zone. Um, but why does Linderbaum go straight into the linebacker here? And this is one where everyone was tweeting about what he was doing to, uh, to Devin White on this day. But he's got no one here, right? So that's his train track. Kevin Zeitler is going to take care of this man. This guy on the backside of the play is obviously being taken care of by Ben Powers. That gives Linderbaum that freedom to go straight up there and look at him get right up there into level two. And just, again, he maintains this block for a while. He keeps that head across. He's just going to run with him. See how he's keeping that inside or outside leverage? And then he latches him. And again, second play, he just drive blocks Devin White for about 10 yards. So just, uh, you just don't get many centers that are that this athletic. Getting out there, really nice seal block by, by Kevin Zeitler again. Morgan Moses makes a block. Look at that. See how he turns him in. Uses inside leverage, opens that. You got Likely down, making a play for you down the field. Look at Likely. Good on him. Now we move on. I think we get outside zone left here. Now, unfortunately, I really like the way Kenyon Drake read this. So he's going to cut back in. And what he's seeing, they don't have the numbers here. 54 is going to fill the C gap here. Kenyon Drake sees it, so he's going to cut back. But Ben Powers thinking that, and this is one of those tough things. This is where chemistry is going to come um, the more that they run zone. He's still got to think, I, I've got to seal this outside shoulder. So I don't necessarily think this is a bad play by Ben Powers. That's where he's aiming. But when he does that and he over pursues to the outside and the cutback comes, he just has no leverage to get on to uh, Devin White. And that's basically who makes the play here. But like the work by Linderbaum here, um, it's not pretty, but you can see him again. He's thinking outside leverage, right? So he's getting up there and he's got the whole time. He's got this out, uh, inside, sh inside hand up in this armpit and he's just trying to dive through him. You can kind of see it right there, right there. And as he tries to push him through again, if, if this is going outside, Linderbaum's in a great position here to try and keep the leverage cuts back inside. And as he does, I mean, Linderbaum keeps driving his man. Even to this point, he's still driving. So just athleticism, his ability to stick to guys. Um, now we're going to get that counter play that I mentioned. So you're going to see a little counter step by Drake, and he's going to come back to the right. You're going to get pulls from Linderbaum as the kickout man. I believe it's this end that comes down. And then Ronnie Stanley is going to be the lead blocker on this concept. So... There you're getting your down blocks. Almost looks like power. The reason it's not power is because you have two blockers, uh, two pullers, sorry, and you have the counter step. So it is counter. Linderbaum's taking play side defensive end and look at him set on him. Just heads exactly where you need it to be. He just washes him out of the play. Stanley pulling through. Josh Oliver with an amazing down block. Great leverage. Opens this up. Josh Oliver is really developed. Did just enough to open that gap. Just what I love here is getting Linderbaum and Stanley out in space together. Seal block. Look at that. Whoo, baby. So I'll just wrap it up here really quick. I mean, we're going to see things like this get better as the Ravens run it more. Um, zone blocking really comes with chemistry. And I think we're going to start to see a little bit of a shift. A little. You'll still see a lot of gap concepts. They're not going to just suddenly become a zone running team, but... With Tyler Linderbaum's ability to play like this in space, do that to level two, what we just saw. Um, that's what you want. That's why you drafted him so high. So it's just great to see the Ravens finally starting to unlock this. So that's all I have for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this, if you enjoyed the new format, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, hit subscribe if you guys are new there. And as always, 
Be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and enjoy a stress-free Sunday this Sunday as the Ravens don't play again until next Monday. Cheers.